Welcome to the Ministry of Reconciliation. It's your sister Aries. I miss you guys. I miss y'all. As you guys know, I'm pregnant, okay? I am due any day, any day. I'm nine months and I'm, baby is due any day. I'm ready. I feel grateful. I'm so in love with my daughter. I can't wait till she comes, but it has not been easy. I want to give you guys an encouraging word because my God has really encouraged me today. He loves us so much and he's in our lives. He's in the midst of our lives. He's so good, y'all. God is just so good. I had pain, okay? Like when I drive, it's so painful because my belly, I think the baby is getting so big for my body, you know? And like my belly hurts, like the top of my belly hurts when I drive. So it's like, it's kind of hard to actually steer and drive because my arms are short and my legs are short and my belly's big. It's just too much, okay? And I'm driving this Chevrolet, like it's, it's not my little car because um, me and G were sharing a car now. So um, anyways, so uh, yesterday I told G like, I can't, like it hurts when I drive. I don't want to drive and today I had to go to a doctor's appointment so I was just like worried like how am I going to do this because you have to go to work and I have to go to a doctor's appointment and I don't want to drive because it hurts and I don't want to drive from your job or back to your job it's too much so I didn't want to and I've been really like so uh, I was really like kind of worried about it and I just went to sleep on it. And in my head, I, w I was thinking about it, and I was like, what can I do? And ultimately, I was just going to cancel my appointment and try to see if I can go online. But mind y'all, I'm nine months pregnant, and I need to go to this appointment today, you know? And it's like <sighs> so much things that I have to do today for this doctor's appointment, and I can't miss it, but I can't drive either. I don't want to drive. So what happened was we tried to you know what we can do and what we can work with and basically i just you know basically when i woke up this morning um before i woke up i had a dream and in the dream i saw my my dad my dad he had handed me a phone and he had um he had put me on facetime with my nana so let me tell you a little bit about my Nana. She passed away. I love her. She's so strong. She's the strongest lady. She's one of the strongest women I know. My Nana, um, she was a, she's a veteran. And she also um, been through so much in her life. She um, basically got like burned alive. Like basically she, she ended up being an amputee. So she got both of her, like below her knees like cut off and then she got um she got burned alive during her lifetime and she still overcame all of that like she is a straight soldier she overcame all of that and she still held on and she still went through life and she didn't give up so my point is is that in my dream that I had I had a dream God is so good I had a vision and in the vision I saw my dad give the phone to me and i was talking to my nana and i said hi nana she said hi i said how you doing she said i'm doing good she said how are you i said i'm okay she said no how are you i said i'm i'm doing good nana and i i didn't tell her what i was going through or how i felt and um she was like look at me and she, i saw her skin because she got burned alive so i saw her patches and she put this like red oil on her skin she said look at me and she did this she did this and she poured this oil and she basically like showed me that she's healed and she showed me that she's strong and then um and then she said and i said whoa look at you nana and then the um the next part of the dream she had put the camera up and she said look and she showed me her standing up and she was jumping and she was like she was so happy like she was like she like she could stand she could walk she could you know and she was healed and um from you know whatever so in the dream she never was an amputee she never was in a wheelchair in the dream but in the dream she stood up and she like basically showed me that she overcame all this right so i woke up and i was like wow 
Like that was God really speaking to me. God really encouraged me today. Throughout this whole pregnancy, I have been going through the most, I have been going through some spiritual warfare that I never experienced in my life, y'all. I had so many things that went on, like all types of things that I had to protect my baby from. That's why I had to go in isolation, you know? And it even goes deeper than that. Like I have been through so much in these last nine months, you know, with growing my, my baby. And I have fought to protect her since day one, you know? And um, God shown me this, another dream. And um, I believe that it's for the time now, especially because I'm about to give birth. I had a vision that um, I was um, I was rushed to the hospital and I was on a gurney, not gurney, whatever it's called, like a stretcher. I was on a stretcher and I was like contracting. I was about to, like the baby was coming and they were rushing me in the hospital. And I heard God's voice and God said, be strong. He said, he said, be strong for I am always with you. Or like, in, or the scripture actually is be strong and courageous. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. That was the scripture that he told me. And in the next scene of the dream, I saw this little girl. And she was like my skin color and she had little balls in her hair. And I went to her and I knelt down to her and I told her, be strong and courageous. For the Lord will be with you wherever you go. And I told her the exact same thing that God told me as I was about to give birth to her. And mind you, like God is so good. This is before I even knew that I was having a, a girl. This is before I even knew that I was having a daughter. And God has, so my point is like, God has been revealing and revealing and revealing and, and encouraging me. And this time that I'm in right now, the dream that I had about my Nana, when I woke up, I was like, man, I don't feel like doing this. But God told me to be strong. <laughs> and he showed me how my Nana was strong. And he showed me how I have to be strong in this time. And that he is with me. And y'all don't know how good that feels. Like, I wish you could feel it. He's so good, y'all. Because if God did not encourage me, I would have canceled my appointment. I would have stayed in bed all day in pain. I would have not enjoyed this nature. I would not, like, I don't even know what's going to happen today. But I ain't going to, I'm happy. And I'm at peace. And I feel so good. So, I don't, I kind of just told y'all different stories and two different dreams that I had. And um, I hope that maybe you learn something or maybe you get encouraged because God wants you to be strong. He didn't tell us that we're going to have this easy, you know, like he didn't tell us that he didn't promise us that it's going to be easy. But he says that he will be with us wherever we go, whatever we go through, he's going to be with us. And it just amazes me how he just, of course, he's God. But God knew my thoughts. He knew where my heart was. He knew I felt discouraged. He knew I was afraid. And today while driving, I I'm not in that much pain. It's uncomfortable, yes. But is my energy up? Yes. After my doctor's appointment in a few minutes, guess what I'm going to do? Go home and take a nap. But he encouraged me this morning. And he told me to be strong. He showed me my Nana being strong. He showed me my Nana overcoming. And that's the same thing that I can do. That's the same thing that I'm going to teach my daughter. That's the same thing I'm teaching you guys. So, um, he's our strength through our weakness. He really is. And um, I have so much to tell y'all because I have been in isolation. And I know you guys haven't heard from me in a while. But I had to I had to go in isolation and I have so many words that I have wrote and written down and some real prophetic things that is really important that you have to hear. Um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to be back. 
um i don't know where it's gonna you know what's gonna happen within the next few days um but i i am in my deepest part of my heart i'm ready to be back on youtube i'm ready to t um to make you know more content for you guys i really am i i can't wait to share with y'all it feels so good to share with y'all how good god is and um so we'll see what's gonna happen because we'll see what's gonna happen because the baby is coming and i never been a mom before so i don't know how that's gonna go maybe i need a few days to actually like get my life together <laughs> But um, I'm just so happy to see y'all. I just want to say God bless you. Thank you for watching. I miss y'all. And I know that I'm going to see y'all soon. So God bless you.